How you doing everybody? Uh, thought I'd make another video again. Uh, made one just a couple of days ago about uh, Enigma Fishing and how uh, pleased I've been with that company and, and buying uh, their rod and reels. And I got thinking, you know, I've got a lot of rod and reels, a lot of gear that I've bought online. And maybe I'll just do a, a video on just all the gear, I, all the different uh, rod and reels I've bought from different companies that, that offer, you know, fishing gear online and Give you give you know if you got guys uh, come on my page and see this video maybe it'll help somebody uh, you know decide uh, to to take a chance and buy a uh, rod from one of these companies and again I'm I'm not affiliated with any of these companies it's just uh, you know I, I just took a shot uh, I wanted to I really wanted to start uh, you know uh, buying a lot of different fishing rod and reels. Uh, that I could afford. I, I bought some expensive rod and reels. Uh, you know, I, I bought some that cost you know three hundred bucks. Um, I've got some that cost over two hundred, and you know, um, it just got to the point where it's like, golly, that I, you know, I really need to find a, a rod and reel uh, that's affordable, that's still got quality to it, and um, maybe not <laughs> and, and not break the bank. So. Um, I started looking online, and um, again, what I realized is that the, the rod and reels that are that are that these companies make. Now, again, you have to be careful. Some of it uh, can be, you know, may not be very good, and um, um, and there's you know not just not not everybody is going to see the same quality. Sometimes, sometimes people you know will like a rod and, and, and a reel, and some people will fish with the same one and and, and think it's junk. Uh, so you know it it depends on 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 the fisherman and what you're looking for and what what feels good in your hands and again that's the hardest part about buying you know gear online is that you can't feel it you don't know you're taking a, a leap of faith that this is going to be quality gear what i found out was by buying online i think you're cutting out the middle guy and so um you're not um you know you're not seeing um um uh, the markup that a Dick Sporting Goods or a Sports Academy would would add onto that onto that um, onto that product, so they can make their profit, and then of course it it adds on to what you pay. So by cutting out the retail store and buying straight online, you can get some quality gear for you know a a, a much better price. So I'm going to talk talk about the different rods. Uh, that I own and then the next uh, video I'll talk about the different reels that I own that I've bought online so for this for this video I'm just going to talk about the rods and give you some information about each one and tell you what company they came from and then you can make the decision whether you want to buy it or not so I uh, hope you enjoy the video and I'm going to get started just in a second so the first two rods I want to talk about are from Castaway and I own um Let's see, one, two, three, four rods from Castaway. Um, I own three of these Trout Blast rods. Now these are pretty similar to what their uh, their inshore smoker. The only difference is this has the split grip. Their inshore uh, smoker has the full cork grip, which I kind of prefer better, to be honest with you. And I'll show you just in a second on this croaker smoker. But anyway, uh, these are uh, my saltwater inshore rod rods that I use. Um, again, you can see this is a 24, it's 24 ton graphite uh, rod. Um, it's got the stainless steel um, um, guides. Uh, I love the, the, the hook keeper here. I like the fact that um, the way it's made, I can keep my soft plastic baits rigged and I can just put them here. I don't have to. I don't have to unhook them or take them off. I can leave them uh, on the on the on the rod when I'm moving from place to place, if I, especially if I'm walking uh, on bank or if I, if I'm waiting, um, or just the fact that uh, if I'm in a boat and I'm going to go from spot to spot, I can just leave it on, pull it off, and start fishing. I don't have to worry about it. Uh, have to take it off. Um, again, this is the seven foot medium. It's um, Got a, a moderate fast action tip, um, which really it's it's it can. I mean, you can see that tip really is fast. I don't know, maybe you can't see, 
before I break my daggone window here. All right, so as you can see, that tip, that's a fast tip, but it goes, it's moderate, so it's got more of a bend to it. All right, and um, I, this, if you saw me fishing at John's Pass, this is the rod I use to catch the snook on, um, and the seven foot medium, um, medium power, fast action, uh, worked really great. I love this uh, for trout as well. And anyway, this is one of my favorite inshore uh, uh, rods to use. Uh, the other one uh, that I have here is the seven foot six medium. Again, this is called the Croker Smoker. Um, and you can see it's got the full cork handle. Okay. Again, the really nice hook keeper. It's 24 ton graphite uh, rod. Again, it has the stainless steel um, guides. It's got good backbone. It's got a good tip. I caught a really nice black drum on this one. Uh, and it handled it pretty well on a pier. I was able to get it up without a net. And um, um, again, right now, if you go to Castaway, now again, this company, this company is in Texas. Um, they consider these custom built rods, although, you know, you can, you can have, like, you can have your name put on it. You can tell them to do different things. And obviously that's going to cost you more money. That stuff's not important to me. Um, uh, I just want to know that the rod handles well and that it's got in it and that it's quality and, um, that I'm going to be able to rely on it. And, and I have, have, have been able to do that with these, with, with these two rods very easily. Um, good thing right now is you can go to Castaway and they are $69. Think about that, okay? $69. Bucks. Now, it's, they're normally $99 a piece, okay? So right at about $100. Um, but right now they're on sale for $69.99. So uh, if you're looking for an affordable inshore rod that can handle... Um, you know, some you know, handle a big fish if you catch one, uh, give you a chance to fish with uh, uh, lures or even fish with live bait. Um, I highly recommend using the, the two castaway uh, rods, either the inshore smoker or the croaker smoker. So the next company I'm going to talk about is Six Gill. Again, another company out of Texas. Six Gill is mostly bass fishing, uh, some salmon fishing. Uh, mostly freshwater fishing. They do have a, a, an inshore rod that they came out with a couple years ago. Um, I, I've, I've never used it, so I don't know if it's any good or not. Um, I've used their freshwater rod and reels. Um, again, this is uh, the um, Akalos. Um, again, this is a 24-ton graphite uh, rod. Um, again, um, the I don't like the the hook keeper. It's the only thing I don't like this kind of hook keeper. Uh, it's not not it's not a deal breaker, but uh, I prefer the ones that are uh, opened and not uh, closed like this. But um, again, um, this locks pretty pretty solid uh, right here, so you don't have to worry about this coming loose. The guides are really nice uh, guides, and. Um, uh, the wind grip feels really nice. Again, I'm not a, really a wind grip guy. This was the first rod that I actually bought that had a wind grip. I, I've always bought cork, and I just wanted to try some wind grip and see. And what I don't like about it is, again, as you can see, you really don't feel the, the, the grip's not really, you know, it's not in your hand. It's, it's down here. Now, it looks nice, you know, with the orange, and you can get different colors. And I'm not sure they still make this particular kind of rod anymore. I know they're doing a lot of uh, clearing out of their of their uh, merchandise, but um, I, I'm not going to lie to you. I was not uh, I was not happy with this rod. Okay, but on the other hand, this rod was my favorite. This was my favorite um, um, river, uh, river rod. Uh, this was the creature rod, but again, they don't make this rod anymore, and I. Um, really love this rod, even though it, it's got one of the features I don't like about a rod. I don't like the fact that it that that the seat um, comes down to, to screw your reel in. I like it for, to be at the bottom, but this uh, again has got a nice feel. The great thing about this rod was how light it was. I mean, this rod was extremely light, 
and could really has a really nice backbone, a really nice fast tip. Uh, again, the guides are well done. Um, and if I hadn't have broke the tip, I broke. I'm going to break everything else. I broke the tip right here. And again, that's my fault. It's not the rod's fault. I wasn't paying attention and I snapped it off and um, I had to stop using it. Um, or this would probably still be one of my favorite river river rods. Okay. Again, um, this was a, I'm pretty sure it's a 24 uh, ton graphite rod. All right, so the Kratos is a 80-20 glass carbon blend, the 24 carbon and 80% and carbon, 20% glass. Again, what this does, it creates, uh, I think, a more durable rod, um, creates a good, a really strong, nice backbone, but it gives you a really good fast tip. If you can, if you can see that tip, okay. Uh, it's a really nice fast tip. Again, uh, I like the, they, they, they did do, a, uh, on this six gill, on the last two six gill rods, you can see they did do the kind of uh, hook keeper that I really like. Uh, I like the open end one like this, okay? Um, again, it still seats from the top down, but this is a Fuji, uh, uh, I guess the Fuji guy uh, seat and the Fuji guides, and a lot of people really like that. And I, I like this rod, uh, it's light, um, it, it's sturdy. It's, uh, I've, I've caught some really nice uh, shad on this. Um, again, the wind grip, the only thing about this wind grip, I, what I don't understand about this wind grip, I, I, and, and again, I, I like how this feels in the hand here. This is fitted for your, for your fingers when they come here, but I don't understand what the, what good this wind grip does you if you can't feel it. Right? I mean, just barely in your hand. Um, and again, it's not, not, that's nothing against six gill. I, I, I find that to be true for a lot of wind grip uh, rods. Um, and I don't, you know, I just, um, um, that tacky feel is supposed to be for me to be able to feel it when I fish and to have it in my hand. And it really, you really don't. But I do like, I do like this part of the rod where my finger comes in and feels comfortable here on, on the, on the rod. And again, th the rod performs really well. It's durable. It's strong. It's got a nice, nice tip, a fast action. Um, so uh, again, those are my uh, three six gill rods. Again, uh, you can, these are all these rods. Again, this one, they're not making anymore. Um, I think, I think you can still buy this one, and I, but if, at, a re, at a reduced price, I think they're get, they may be getting ready to get rid of it. I know the Kratos is right now going for seventy five dollars, so that's a pretty that's a pretty good deal. The good thing about six gill, at least one of the reasons why I bought a lot of six gill six gill gear in the beginning of me getting back into fishing, was the fact that they ran a lot of BOGO deals, buy one get one free. As a matter of fact, these two rods right here, I bought this one. I think for $119, and then I got this one for free. So for 120 bucks, you know, um, for 120 bucks, I got two rods. All right. So uh, and again, this rod was my one of my favorites until I broke it, and this one I enjoy using, but. Uh, I'll be honest, I haven't used it a lot this particular year because I bought new gear and I just wanted to try it, try it out. So six gill fishing, take a look at it, see what you see for some other other price, other things on there you like. They've got some other high end rod uh, rods other than these. And again, if you find if you catch it on a if you catch a bogo deal, buy one get one free. It's a pretty good opportunity to uh, you know. Um, uh, Supplement your your fishing arsenal um, with some quality gear at a at affordable price. The next rod that I bought online um, was a Kipper stick. Now, actually, I actually bought one of these at a fishing expo, um, and I really liked uh, the rod. It's uh, uh, it was a seven three medium heavy, and um, I thought, well, you know, I, I was in the river and I broke, I broke a, a three hundred dollar rod, and um, I thought, oh, my heart was just 
d devastated that I broke that rod. And I knew I wasn't going to be able to replace a $300 rod with another $300 rod. And really, there's no need, to be honest with you, to spend 300 bucks on a rod unless you're a professional fisherman. And obviously, I'm just a weekend warrior. I'm fishing down here in the river, having a good time. And uh, the good thing is I didn't spend 300 bucks on that rod. I actually, uh, I've been very fortunate. I've won a bunch of rods uh, doing internet uh, uh you know, uh, winning, you know, internet uh, uh, deals where I won them for free. So I won that rod for free. And I won't even talk about the company that it is because once I do, people always give it crap, although it was a really nice rod. And uh, again, I broke the tip, my fault. I caught a, caught a, um, in a tree and I tried to whip it out of there too fast. And instead of going up and I was wade fishing, all I had to do was walk over there and pull it out of the tree no i whipped it trying to get it out of there in a hurry and i broke the tip so i'm like oh how am i going to replace that rod so anyway uh i remembered buying the uh, kipper stick and this particular company is right here in virginia at stewart draft and um i went online i looked at some looked at their rods saw the prices now right now these prices have obviously because of the economy have gone up but it's a really nice custom rod. He'll make it, he'll actually make it. You can actually uh, have him make you one. Um, uh, he's he got all these rods and, he, and I, went, I, actually, I actually drove to his house and bought this. So I really didn't buy this online, but this is how you would order it. I ordered it online, but I actually went to his house and picked this rod out. I, I, I paired it up with, the, with my reel and I felt how, you know, how, how it felt. You know, and you can see this is not as not this is this is bottom heavy. If you see uh, when I was try, trying to uh, balance this, it's not real balanced. Okay, it's very bottom he heavy, and it's heavy because of this knob right here. Uh, but this knob, you know, uh, I'm not. Sh you know, it's nice to that it it when you put it on the ground, you're not gonna have to worry about uh, you know scarring it up, breaking it, um, gives it a little more um, sturdiness. Um, but this particular rod, uh, has an, um, um, an RX7 carbon fiber, uh, rod blank. Um, again, I'm not an expert on all this stuff, but that's a high modulus, uh, rod. It's pretty nice. Uh, a lot of, uh, high end rods, uh, try to use that, well, sometimes use that material. Um, again, this is a 6.6. Six this is a medium power moderate fast action rod this rod is 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 is, is um, geared more towards small crankbaits and top water lures that you would throw on the river um, so um, again it's a nice feel but it is a little bottom heavy um, and again the other thing that i didn't pay attention to when i bought this there's no hook keeper okay? And that really bothers me, especially when I wade. I don't, I don't like hooking up here in my guides, okay? Um, again, the guides, however, as you can see, if you look at this rod, it's really, it's very well made. Um, again, a lot of people who have bought kipper sticks really like them. I don't think I've ever heard anybody having bad things to say about this particular online company. I, I enjoy buying from a company like this because it's just somebody, you know, him and his wife, uh, I think he's retired, and um, he again, like I said, he builds these rods, and he just has them in, the, in his in his garage, and they're extremely nice people. You can call and say, "Hey, can I drive over to your house and and look at it and fill it so I can see this is the one I want?" And um, anyway, um, uh, I this it's it's been a really nice rod. Screws in from the bottom, like that I like. Um, and the, the, again, I like the, uh, I can feel with the cork with my finger here. Uh, again, you don't really have a, a good, you know, the, the, the cork is, in, is more towards the end of your palm of your hand here. I'm really not even going to feel a whole lot of times in it. Um, it's got the split grip. Um, it's again, it's been a nice rod, but, um, it's, 
and, and again, uh, it's what other people like. Uh, for me, I don't, I don't like the heavy, the heavy end of this rod being heavy like that. That's just me. Um, but again, I, it, it's it, there's nothing wrong. There's nothing, nothing bad I can say about the rod. Uh, it handles, it handles the lures very well. You can cast very good with this, um, and uh, it's got a nice backbone. It's, a, it's very light and sensitive. So, um, Kipper Sticks, again, you can go online, you can look at all the different uh, ones he's selling. They're going now for about $175, so that's a pretty good, pretty good price, but again, uh, it's a custom rod that he will build to your specifications. So, uh, give it a look, give it a shot, and see if you, if you like that. So the last rods I want to talk about, uh, again, are Enigma Fishing. My last video, I talked about these two rods in particular, but I want to talk about all four, and we're going to definitely talk about these two today. So my favorite spinning rod, my favorite rod that I own, and if you've noticed, all my gear's been spinning rods. I have one, I have one uh, thumb burner out there, um, <laughs> bait caster. Um, and so, um, I, 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 again, I'm a weekend warrior. I'm not a professional fisherman. There's no reason for me to go buy a bait caster. So uh, I'm just going to buy this most simple, easiest uh, gear to fish with that I can have the most fun with and not have to worry about, you know, fixing, you know, my gears and my weight and it, it, my, my mag it, is, am I going to backlash when I, when I cast and all that stuff. So uh, I just don't want to deal with a bait caster myself personally. But anyway, that's a whole different, that's a whole different video. So um, spinning rods. This is my favorite. This is my favorite spinning rod that I own. Uh, again, it's the HPT um, uh, spinning rod from Enigma. Uh, it's a 30-40 uh, carbon blend. Uh, this is a 7 foot 2 medium fast action. It's extremely sensitive. Great backbone. Um, again, um, these, rods, these rods are extremely balanced. Okay? extremely balanced all right i don't know if you can see that or not but these are extremely balanced okay and i love the way these feel in my hand i love the cork this is the portuguese um this is the portuguese cork um so it's ex ex expensive cork again the what i like about it is that it's it's going to be the cork is going to be in my hand so that when I'm fishing, I feel that and it's comfortable. I've got the cork up against my hand and my palm of my hand here. I've got it with my thumb and my fingers. I'm actually feeling that cork. And to me, that just makes the reel or the rod more comfortable to hold in my hand. So I, again, I really love this rod. Then you have the um, Phenom Titanium Series. Once again, what I like about this, even though it's not cork, the grip that they have chosen, actually, you feel in your hand. It's there. It's in the, your thumbs on it. It's comfortable. You're, feel, you're, you're actually holding on to that, and it's feeling comfortable in your hand. It's not down here at the bottom that just for show, all right? And so right there it is. You're feeling it. You're fishing with it. Again, this is a 30 uh, ton carbon uh, rod. Uh, this is a seven foot two. Again, medium fast action. Uh, again, uh, very high end guides. Nicely wrapped. Uh, very sensitive. Again, I use this rod uh, to shad fish this year, and I love the I love the tip. If you can see that tip, I love the tip on this thing, and it really made bringing those shad in really fun. Um, so. Um, again, these two particular rods, I'm going to do a lot of different species fishing. Um, I'm going to fish inshore. I'm going to kill me a spider. I'm going to do inshore fishing. I'm going to bass fish. I'll fish uh, in lakes. Um, and I'll fish in some bigger rivers like the Potomac or the Occoquan. Um, again, these two rods, these are my river rods. 6669. Six, um, these are my medium light uh, rods. Again, just the, uh, the Enigma fishing rods are so balanced. Um, they're not butt heavy. Um, they're really nice rods. 
And it, and again, uh, I, I, I of all the rods I own, I I have to say that my Enigma fishing rods are my favorite. Um, number one, they're sweet looking. I mean, look, I mean that's a those are really nice looking rods. Okay, um, and um, they feel really great in the hand. Again, again, if you're going to give me a wind grip, put it in my hand where I can feel it. Right there. So this is their e-grip. That is in my hand. I can feel it's like holding a golf club. There it is. Okay. Um, they're again. They're known for their hook keepers being below the seats. So the hook keepers are way down here. So when you're carrying these things, the hooks are down here while you're holding the rod up here. That way you can keep your bait uh, on your rod without taking it off and then not getting hooked in your hand. Um, and again. These rods are extremely light, they're sensitive, they've got great backbone, um, and um, uh, the fish I have caught with these, with these rods have may have really been an enjoyable experience uh, for me as a fisherman. So again, I love all my gear. Uh, look, six gill is, is nice. Uh, I love the castaway uh, inshore rods. Um, the kipper stick was, is, is a nice rod. Um, and, and you can't go wrong with really any of those. Uh, again, it depends on if you're, what kind of what, what are you looking for. Price is it affordable? Um, and you want a more you want a custom built rod um, that's going to be more on the higher end, like the Kipper Stick. Um, but if you're looking for some of the best looking rods on the market that fish extremely well or high quality. Very well balanced, sensitive, and have a great backbone. All right, you cannot beat Enigma Fishing. And right now, all these rods that you're looking at on this table oh, are $99. So the purpose of me making this video <coughs> is not to uh, uh, show off all my gear or <coughs> to get you to buy online fishing gear. That's up to you. I'm not going to sit here and tell you that these rod and reels are better than Loomis or better than Dobbins or better than uh, a, uh, than um, Fenwick or better than St. Croix. I mean, that would be just crazy for me to come out here and try to try to tell you that these rods are better than those uh, brand name rods. Um, you know, whether they are or they're not, that's something for you to decide as the fisherman and decide what you want to buy and how you want to spend your money. I'm just wanting to show you, I, I made this video Simple, for the simple fact, a simple reason, that if you are on YouTube and you just happen to be clicking through fishing videos and you come on my video and you see this, you're going to see some some yokel guy who's who's not a, you know, I'm not a professional. I, I'm not doing this for a living. I'm not selling these rod and reels to make money. Um, I'm just a weekend warrior like you that goes out and wants to fish and have a good time and I want to make sure I have quality gear at an affordable price, okay, at an affordable price. So some of these online fishing companies offer that situation. They cut out the middle guy. You don't have to worry about the retail stores, you know, uh, picking up the price. So that gives an opportunity for you to buy a more higher end gear at a lower price. So uh, again, I, I highly, I recommend you looking at all these different websites from Six Gill to Castaway to Kipper Sticks to Enigma Fishing. Take a look at all those. Even, and I don't own any Cast King or uh, any of those uh, other rods, uh, reels, companies that are out there online. Um, but I say, you know, look at all of them. But if you are looking at those particular websites and you're not sure which one to buy, hopefully this, this video has given you a little more information Someone who's actually used them. I always, always, I don't understand these videos where they, uh, you know, open the box and show you the reel and the and the rod coming out of the tube. And what good does that do if they haven't used it yet and tell you if it's any good? And you know, uh, if these rod and reels were horrible or they sucked, <laughs> I would tell you stay away. Don't buy these rod and reels. But that's not that's not the that is not the it's not that's not the fact the facts. And it's not even close. Uh, are some of these rods maybe better than others? Um, yes. Um, 
are some um, of these companies do they, they because of the deals they offer? Does that make it more uh, ad, more an advantage to buy from them? Of course, yes, in my opinion. So if I had to give you a honest, you know, what's my favorite? Uh, Enigma fishing is my favorite, but hands down. Um, the rods are incredible. Uh, I like the reels. Um, and um, I'll talk about those more in the next video. But the rods are very balanced and they're lightweight and they're, they're sensitive and they have a good backbone. But then again, so are these other rods. Uh, you know, Castaway is a really nice rod for inshore fishing. And again, they have some bass fishing stuff. I've never used it, but I hear good things about it. Um, so, um, it's going to be up to you, the consumer, to make that choice and decide for yourself. Hopefully, this video is helping you make that decision. All right. So, good luck in your fishing, and until next time, see you guys later.